everyone as it is the halloween season i have a hogwarts inspired trunk here with some halloween costumes and accessories what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be unpacking the trunk and setting up a halloween inspired room so if you are new to my channel welcome be sure to click on the subscribe button down below and the notification bell in the corner so notified every time i upload a new video i will be opening and reviewing some halloween themed outfits and accessories at the end of the video so stay tuned to see that that part of the video is a shopper's gift guide so shoppers can get an overview of the items so they can decide what they like to purchase and i did just want to say a huge thank you to american girl for gifting me those items Let's go ahead and place the accessories away first. So we have some Harry Potter inspired treats. So first off, we have a box of Birdie Bot's Every Flavored Beans. There's definitely some interesting flavors, but I love the detail of the box. It looks so realistic. Then we also have a chocolate frog here as well. So we'll place both of those on the same shelf as they're both food options. We have the chocolate frog inside and the collector card as well. Let's place the lid back. We also have a quill and a little stand for it. So it's perfect for placing it down in a setup. So that can go on another shelf with this envelope and it's addressed to the cupboard under the stairs for privet drive and you can open up and there's a few different notes inside there's an acceptance letter and there's also a shopping list too for hogwarts so let's place that over there we also have a journal with the hogwarts crest and then we also have some shoes but we'll be adding those later on we're going to start off with the top shelf by adding in the box of the every flavored beans and the chocolate frogs so that definitely takes up most of the space so we'll add the rest of the items over in the middle shelf and the next item we'll be placing down is the quill and the stand for it, so that can go over there. Then in the middle, we'll place the letter down, and over by the other side, we have the journals. So that takes up most of the space in the middle shelf. Let's start unpacking the trunk. So the first outfit we have here is a Hogwarts robe. Let's take a look at the outfit. So it comes with the robe with the little Hogwarts logo, a t-shirt, and then also a skirt as well. So it's the classic Hogwarts uniform. And then there's also a pair of socks here, so that can go with it as well, and a wand too. So we'll place the wand just in the middle here in between the Birdie Bot's Every Flavored Bean and the Chocolate Frog. We'll place the socks just over by this compartment and then as for the actual outfit, that takes up a lot of space but we should be able to add it just over to the side here. Here we have the shoes for the outfit that can go right over in the back corner. The next outfit we have here is an 80s inspired outfit. It's a part of Courtney's collection. So we have some silver boots over here. They're very galactic and stylish. And then we also have this space costume as well. So it's a one piece outfit. There's some pink on it. And then there's also a zipper over at the front and Velcro on the back too. So we're going to add that to the wardrobe as well. The galactic space costume can go right next to the Hogwarts robe. That can go over in the middle. And the stylish silver boots can go right in front of the shoes for the Hogwarts costume as well. This outfit is more of a classic Halloween costume. It is inspired by a pumpkin. So it does come with these boots. And then we also have these leggings. So they're black and orange striped. Then we also have the actual pumpkin costume itself. It is so stylish. It's very glittery. It's inspired by a pumpkin and perfect for the fall and Halloween season. Then we also have this beret to complete the pumpkin outfit too. Let's go ahead and add the beret over to the side door here. It should be able to fit in one of these compartments. Hopefully it stays in place since it is a larger item. Then we have the pumpkin costume as well. I love how stylish it is with the leggings and the dress all together. It's just the perfect Halloween costume. So it definitely takes up a lot of space in the wardrobe. We have all three outfits here displayed like that. And we'll move the shoes over to the side too. The shoes can go over by the door here just because there's not a lot of space over by that bottom shelf. But as for the trunk, we're going to close it, seal it together like that, and we'll just place it over here. As you can see, we've unpacked all of the Halloween costumes and the room is now organized and styled. So let's go ahead and take a look at the outfits and items. This outfit is called the Pretty Pumpkin Costume. There's a photo on the front of the box to give an overview of the set. It's a part of the Chili Me line and it's a classic Halloween costume themed to a pumpkin. The first item we have here is the pumpkin dress. So it's a really bright orange color and there's a glitter finish to it. There's some leaves around the collar and there's a pumpkin face over at the front. The sleeves are made out of a swimsuit material, which I find really interesting. You can see there's some elastic over by the bottom and here's what the back of the costume looks like. So there's Velcro, so it's easy to open and close. Up next, we have the leggings. It definitely matches the orange and black theme of the pumpkin dress. There's some elastic on the waist and it has that same swimsuit kind of material for the leggings. It just wraps all the way around to the back. The beret definitely matches the theming of the outfit. It's orange and there's a glitter finish to it. I love the little leaf design. We also have the little stock over by the top here. And if we take a look at the bottom, there's elastic. So it should just be able to sit on the head like so. 
The boots are part of the outfit are definitely very glittery. It matches the glitter theme to the pumpkin. There's some orange elastic. So what's great about it is it's not made out of that hard plastic. So it's made out of a soft cloth material. And then this part, it's just elastic. So it opens up. So you're able to slide the foot in place. But I do love these shoes because you can style them with other outfits, not just the pumpkin costume. And here we have an overview of the pretty pumpkin costume. I have to say the quality is really great. I love how stylish and fun it is. And it's perfect for the Halloween season too. This Halloween costume is a part of Courtney Moore's collection. Courtney Moore is a character inspired by the year 1986, and it is called Courtney's Halloween Costume. There's a photo on the front of the box to give an overview of the set. So let's go ahead and open it up. The main feature outfit apart of the Halloween costume is definitely the jumpsuit. So it is a one piece. There's a zipper which opens and closes over at the front. There's some writing over here. We also have some pink on the waist and also on the sleeves as well. And there's some elastic on the bottom too so the outfit stays in place. It is very glittery along here with the silver and the pink. If we take a look at the back, it's plain, but we do have that design wrapped around. Up next, we have the boots. Even though they're meant to be for the Halloween costume, they are very stylish and you can style them with any of Courtney's 80s inspired outfits. So they have a silver white finish to them and they're very soft and I do have to say they're great quality as well. And to complete the outfit, we have the blaster. It's a really bright green and pink color and there's a handle over by the other side. Here we have an overview of Courtney's Halloween costume. I would definitely recommend it if you've read Courtney's books just because it ties along to her character and storyline. There are a total of two Hogwarts uniform options to choose from. There's a Hogwarts uniform set with pants and a Hogwarts uniform set with skirt. So here's the option with the skirt. You can see the skirt's featured over the front here. There's a photo to show an overview of the uniform itself. It says Wizarding World Harry Potter American Girl over by the front of the box. The first item we have here is the robe. I do have to say the quality is really great on this item. It's surprisingly quite heavy and you can see that there's lining inside of the robe itself. We have the Hogwarts crest over here because this is meant to be not for a particular house but just the uniform for Hogwarts. We also have the hood over by the back there. If we take a look at the back it's completely plain but it looks so realistic. The next item we have here is the shirt. It's completely plain. There's a collar. There's also some buttons and the buttons are real. So you do have to remove each one. It's not Velcro. And here's what the back looks like. Up next, we have the skirt. It's a gray color. There's no elastic on the waist, but there is Velcro on the back. So you can open and close it. And to complete the outfit, we have a classic pair of Mary Jane shoes, which have Velcro on the side and a pair of light gray socks. So the socks are a little bit more of a lighter gray compared to the skirt. And here we have an overview of the Hogwarts uniform with skirt set. The quality is really great. I love the attention to detail at all the different items and it looks so realistic as well. This set is the perfect Harry Potter accessory set. It's called the Hogwarts trunk. There's a photo on the front of the box to give an overview of the set itself. It comes with a trunk and multiple different accessories themed to the storyline, including an owl. So let's open it up. In case if you're wondering, this is what it looks like out of the box. The accessories are inside of the trunk. I haven't seen inside yet, so we'll have to take a look at that. The box itself is made out of plastic. There's clips on the front, so we're able to open it up. It has the Hogwarts crest here, and that's just printed on. And there's these two little side handles. You can't actually use them. They're quite tight, but they're just for decor. There's one on either side. So let's open up the trunk. Here we have the inside of the trunk. So it has a cloth material inside and also on the lid as well. There's a little pocket section over at the front to store away some of those smaller accessory items. And it's really pretty gold color on the inside too. The first item we have here is a packet of jelly beans, but it's not just any ordinary packet of jelly beans. It's Birdie Bot's Every Flavored Beans. The packaging looks so realistic and there's so much attention to detail to it. So you can see the little jelly bean detail inside and it looks like the one that's featured in the movies. One of the most classic sweet treats a part of the Harry Potter storyline would definitely have to be chocolate frogs. So I'm so excited they included one a part of the set. So we have the packaging. It's a box and it says chocolate frog feature over at the front. And then here we have the chocolate frog itself and it comes with a little collector's card. And this one is themed to Albus Dumbledore. I do have to say it can bend quite easily. So you do have to be careful with that. We're going to place that over by the bottom of the box here. We'll add the chocolate frog just on top and then we'll close it like so. And as you can see, it does fit. A Harry Potter themed accessory set would not be complete without a wand. So we have one over here. There's a small little handle over by the side. It looks like a classic wand and it's perfectly miniature sized too. We also have a quill over here. This item's made out of plastic. This is what it looks like on the back and the front. It does bend a little bit, but it's made out of plastic. So it does stand up like that. And we also have a little quill holder for it as well. So it can sit on a little side table. 
Up next, we have an acceptance letter, and it's to Harry Potter, and it's sent by Professor McGonagall. We also have an envelope over here. I love how it's addressed to the cupboard under the stairs before Perfect Drive, exactly like the ones featured in the movies and books as well. So it is made out of paper. We have a little stamp here, but that's just for design. So you can open and close it. This does fold up, and you can place it inside of the envelope itself. We'll add it in like that. We'll go ahead and close it. We'll just add the tab like so, so it stays like that, and you can see it's all ready to go to Harry. This letter here is a list of different items Harry or any other student going to Hogwarts needs to purchase before going and starting their school year there. So we have some uniform items, some books, and then also some other equipment as well. And this item here is a ticket to Platform 9 and 3 quarters so they can go on the Hogwarts Express. The next item we have here is a journal. It has the Hogwarts crest over the front, and I love how it matches the theming of the trunk. When you open it up, it just has lined paper inside. And to complete the Hogwarts trunk set, we have a little owl here. It's a classic plush owl. There's so much detail to it. It's definitely a really adorable item. Harry had his owl, Hedwig, in the storyline, so we have this owl a part of the set. And here we have an overview of the items a part of the Hogwarts trunk set. I love how it comes with a variety of different accessories that tie back to the Harry Potter movies and books as well. My favorite item would definitely have to be the chocolate frog. I love how it comes with a collector's guide. And another great addition to the set would definitely have to be the platform nine and three quarters ticket. Overall, it was really great organizing and styling the Halloween themed room set up with the different outfits and accessories and opening and reviewing these different sets too. So thank you so much for watching this video and I really hope you enjoyed it.